Hey, what's up, people? Spot your faves. Yesterday was Lara Tomodi says, Homecoming. Like, the Lema's gifting and every other thing just overtook yesterday. Well, you guys, you guys know me. But if this is your first time on this channel, mm, it's spicy. Updates with lovely. Mm. How you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing okay. Yeah, do not forget to like the video. Be subscribed to the YouTube channel if you have not. And a returning subscriber is amazing. So, you guys, yesterday was Lera Tomodi says, I've been bringing it to you guys. Like, June 1st was for Liema, Lera Tomodi say, and Yolanda. So, Lera to had her homecoming yesterday. I hope you can spot your faves. Can you spot your faves? Yeah. Is a family affair. Can you spot them? Makeke, Bravo B, Willie, Papa Ghost, Shuenza, and Elsie. So they were all there to celebrate with um Lerato at her homecoming. And it was really a bomb. Yeah. It really went so 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 well, guys. Like um there was a time Lerato came on live, but uh, you know, I was just watching it while awaiting part two gifting of Lema because yesterday was crazy, guys. Guys, yesterday was crazy. Like, <laughs> yesterday was crazy. Like, ah, God, I'm messy. Even till today, some things are still on. I'm going to be bringing you guys that just later. So yesterday was Lara Tomodi says um homecoming and it was all filled with love. You could see her writing family affair. Love you loads, yo. Like um those that were able to come and grace the show makeke willie um bravo b lc shuenza and papa goes of course you know legos is a thing guys so it was really really so beautiful guys like the live that i watched i really enjoyed it we had lots of big mamas there but i didn't really get to get the part of the gift team maybe they had some things for her or was it just all party party but guys um lara tomodi say is um lara tomodi say is big person when it comes to let me tell you guys see this person said lara tomodi say and papa ghost are really smart their initiative are developmental and progressive i really admire them why is this person saying this like um lara tomodi say and papa ghost actually produced this short film it was produced by lara tomodi say and it was written by papa ghost guys honestly this baleka I think it was last week Friday that it, it hit on the movies or it's just a short film. They what kind of it's just a short film. So a lot of persons are saying, Whoa, Papa Ghost and Lerato Modise are smart. Lerato produced the movie. You guys know Papa Ghost writing skills and storytelling skills. He was the one that like I think he's he was a storyteller and it has to do with africa and you know the whole nation and all that so when um this person was talking about them being smart i said what do you expect they are not gen z's now these are two adults okay and when you see mature relationship you will know guys you don't expect them to come and start doing all this banter all these you people's gen z's faves are doing online no it's not going to be that way and two of them coming up with this thing coming up with this thing is really amazing i've not really gotten opportunity to i don't even know where i can watch the ballet car whether it's just um limited or restricted to south africans but i can probably it may be on her channel maybe i'll check it out and see what the movie um the film is all about so guys um Lerato has been doing amazing the other time i think she was at youtube for africa the other time you know the african celebration like there are so many things we know she has a foundation on her own Lerato is a big person in the industry like we didn't really see like that in the house probably because of the kind of game she was playing but seriously i have to say that post show she's one woman that is doing a one lady that is really doing very very well and there is no much drama attached to it of course there is no more drama no more competition 
attached to it because i all these um competitions comparison rivalry is very very unhealthy guys but for these two they're just doing that thing and it's really really going on well for them so that yesterday the housemates they were opportuned or they were privileged to attend did that because yesterday was lima's gifting so we weren't expecting that she'll be there sinaya is in the instant cave z is i think they're still with us um uh, Robertson Spice, so a whole lot of them are busy, yeah, guys. A whole lot of them are busy, so we'll not be expecting to see all of them at our homecoming. Um, but we say a very big congratulations to her. So, another person yesterday, um, I told you guys, um, Yolanda's online um store launch, but I think she had a different gig for that yesterday, yeah, she had quite a different gig, uh, guys. First time I've seen El Yolanda on a wig. Like, she looks <laughs> like the face of a magazine. Seriously, Yolanda is a model. That's just, it fits her so well. You know, all those modeling stuff, face of a magazine, you know, like um tv presenter yeah seriously it's really do well for her so yesterday um these three ladies actually celebrated but yolanda um liema's own really overshadowed the whole thing because of the drama surrounding it and uh, the kind of twists her fans brought in to the thing that really brought a lot of guys <laughs> you guys know what i'm talking about yesterday but yesterday there was lots and lots of celebration and we didn't really get to bring it to you guys but that is what i'm bringing to you now so you could see um yolanda in that outfit i couldn't put the clip here because i know it didn't belong to her i think she advertised for um a fame or so because she took to her insta story to appreciate them and also the yoli fires and some persons are saying please continue rocking the hair it fits you um stop going on i think what did she complain about her? I can't remember what she said about her going on low cut in the house. But I think she could get wigs, she could get lots of hairs, and you still be on your low cut. And each time they need be, you put them, maybe you forget about the braids and all those other ones. But something you could just wear light, and once you're done, you remove it. I don't know what you guys feel about this whole stuff. Okay, I don't know what you guys feel about Lerato's homecoming. And have you heard of the movie produced by Lerato Modise and Papa Ghost, um, directed by Papa Ghost, Sabala and Kube is Papa Ghost, right? Yeah, guys, okay, I don't know if you know about it. Let us know in the comments, okay? Let us know what you feel about the movie. Have you seen it? Have you watched it? And do you think Papa Ghost and Lerato are really doing amazing post show? Let us know in the comments guys and i want to use the opportunity to say biggest children you guys are doing so 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 amazing for sure all right let me know what you guys feel and i will see you guys in the next one bye